guys are I'm back. Going all in. By the way, J.K.L., I just posted an image for Nick to put up here just to... to, to don't, just, don't tell me it's a Code 13 at Saxes no, again. No, this is not a Code 13. It's to reinforce your point about the, you know, the virtue of capitalism. You know, this kind of dates back to... These are three three images, three charts from the year 1500 to today. And Energy uh, use has grown 115 times. Well, so this is basically uh, a measure of population, population consumption, and production, right? And so... The, the capitalist incentive has driven um, the ability, while population has grown 14x over the last 500 years, it's driven um, a nearly 10x increment in what is available for humans to consume uh, per capita during that period of time. I mean, think about that. That was driven entirely by industry. And so industry has enabled and, and production has increased by 240x. So we have a surplus of goods on planet Earth and a surplus of um, access to goods because of the capitalist incentive over the last 500 and, years. And whose right is it to say that that was wrong? And right. all of the people that are employed by it and live within that mechanism and, that, and, and all, who are no and, longer living and in all, poverty, all who are no sudden, longer slaves. All of a sudden, 50,000 people can virtue signal because they're sitting in their warm homes in America telling everybody else to fuck off. I mean, I find it kind of a joke. I mean, I, I would like you to go and live, you know, where I was supposed to live before I emigrated. Right. Sri Lanka. No heater, no roof, no food, etc. Right? Yeah, I mean, that's like, what these kids should do. They should go to go North to Korea. Outhouse. You go, go come to Sri Lanka. I can show you. You you go to an outhouse. Okay, you sit there. You squat to go to the bathroom. Okay, um, there's no fucking three ply. You know, uh, bamboo. You know, pep press free toilet paper Organic. to deal with. Um, you know, you 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 literally what you know you clean yourself with your hand. You brush your teeth with coal. I remember we used to brush our teeth with fucking coal. Okay, we have a well for water. And so you you have all these people in these situations where and all we wanted was to just give a chance to run the race. And the people that were born with a silver spoon in their mouth who had the chance to run the race turns around and tells guys like me, no, you can't. And it fucking infuriates me. Yeah, I want to blow up the racetrack, by the way. I, yeah. I want to just get rid of the entire... I mean, honestly, fuck ability. you. It's a serious fuck you to these to these... Like they were, well they said. profited and they benefited from democracy and capitalism, and now they want to revert back to a system where everybody who's in that they system don't is trying to get into this system. They don't understand what feudalism is because they are so many layers removed through their fucking filtered lenses and you know country clubs and bullshit vacations and all this crap that they have no idea what it's like. And I'm telling you, uh, I am first generation of having escaped that shit, and I don't want anything to do with it. But the point is, capitalism has allowed not just the U.S., but many other countries to change their course in life. Um, Stephen Pickner's, for all of the controversy he creates, his books on, um, you know, what humans have really achieved during this great kind of era of capitalism and industrialism and how we've changed our course on planet Earth, uh, improved human health, improved longevity, improved calorie access to calories, improved access to shelter, to medicine. Um, it's all because of a um, an incentive, a market-based incentive system, um, and it is very, very powerful. It is the most powerful force we know as a species, and it's allowed this incredible acceleration, exponential acceleration of possibility for our species. Also from the article, a great quote, Elizabeth Baldwin, a 34-year-old Democratic socialist from Cambridge, Massachusetts. She plans to keep enough of her inheritance to buy an apartment and raise a family, enjoying the sort of pleasant middle-class existence denied to many people of color in the United States. What does that I mean? That's just, I don't know. I just, I honestly, let's just move on. Let's talk about Brian. Yeah. It's so dumb. They, they, nice. they, 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 they see, they see the world in a zero sum way where, you know, anything they have means that somebody else must, uh, it must've been taken away from somebody else. They don't really understand the way that, value is created by an exchange and by people creating new things um and you know and and that's what technology is all about you know it's creating new I things i mean there was a time when everybody didn't have access to clean water now we take that for granted there's a time when everybody didn't have access to affordable food and time and electricity and by the way look Plumbing. at how we started look, all of this is driven by capitalism and, and look at how, how we started the conversation happen. today alpha fold I think is the realization of one of the greatest capitalist enterprises in history if not the greatest you know alphabet and, and they're still getting started. And the output of that is going to be an incredible new tool for drug discovery that is going to extend human lifespan in an incredible way. There is a window of time where folks who are really, really good at bitching and complaining 
had a window of opportunity to bitch and complain. And what happened was they were not able to seize power. And then just in the last few months, literally, I think we are nailing that coffin shut. Because as you said, David, you're going to have to all of a sudden, like, look at companies like Google and look at things like AlphaFold and reject them. And I don't know how people do because everyone will need something that that company will create now and that AlphaFold will be responsible for. We are all going to need a vaccine. These are all coming from for-profit companies that thrived on top of R&D. You know, all of it was funded by past drug profits from other things. And so, you know, we're going to have to really look at ourselves in the mirror and say, did we not want that? Did we want to just die on the street to prove a point? And I don't think anybody actually wants that. I mean, and, yeah. and what is your what is the ultimate criticism of Amazon? They made you know iPhone chargers five dollars. Well, the point is you can't forty dollars. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't actually you know complain about Amazon on the one hand, complain about no action on climate change on the other, complain about this, complain about that, complain about the other thing. Then you're just a fucking whiner, and nobody wants a whiner around because they're not additive, they're not useful. You don't learn anything from a whiner. 